I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia, and today I'm going to show you how to create a manual buttonhole on your sewing machine. I'm going to be using the Designer Epic 2, but you don't necessarily have to have this sewing machine to follow along for this video. You can pretty much use any sewing machine to do this, although all sewing machines do work a little bit differently, so make sure you reference your manual. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Also, I'm now teaching virtual sewing lessons and in-person sewing lessons as well. So make sure you find out information on that at SewAnastasia.com and there will also be a link down below for SewAnastasia.com. The first thing we're going to do is mark our buttonhole. So grab some chalk and I really like using a chalk pen because it's nice and thin and precise. So I like to place my button on the fabric, keep it in one spot and mark on the front and on the back of it. And now you're going to have two lines. So this is where our buttonhole is going to go, so that way we have something to follow and we know how big to make it, otherwise we might not know how big to make it. We want to mark this very precisely because you don't want your buttonhole too small, you won't be able to fit your button through it, and if it's too big it's going to pop open, and we don't want that. Another thing you could do is measure your button. So you can measure your button, and I would measure this one at, it looks like about 7 eighths. If you're choosing to measure your button, go ahead and draw a line on your fabric that is about 7 eighths long, if that was the size of your button. And I also like to add just a little bit, maybe like a sixteenth of an inch, just enough to make sure we can squeeze that button into the buttonhole. Now that we have the buttonhole marked, let's go over to the sewing machine and sew this buttonhole. Before we start sewing our buttonhole, you need to put on the buttonhole foot. I'm going to be using the C foot for this manual buttonhole. And if you don't have the sewing machine, make sure you check and see what foot that is for your sewing machine. We want to start our buttonhole at the very bottom of the buttonhole. So go ahead and place your mark all the way at the bottom. I like to use my hand wheel and make sure my needle is right at that starting point. So I like to put it into the fabric first. Now when we create a manual buttonhole, it's going to sew backwards forever until we tell it to turn. So when we get to the other mark on the other side of the buttonhole, we're going to go ahead and hit the return arrow and that's going to bring our buttonhole back the other way. So it's going to do a zigzag stitch and it's just going to keep sewing that zigzag stitch all the way back. Now when I get to that horizontal line, I'm going to hit the return arrow, which is my back stitch, and it's going to do my bar tap, and then it's going to come back down. And it's not going to know where to stop. So when I get to the other vertical line, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to hit the reverse arrow one more time, and now it's going to give me my last bar tack. And that is it. So just hit the cut button and pull it out. Check out our beautiful buttonhole. That was so easy. This was so easy. It zigzagged back, it made a bar tack, it zigzagged down, and it made another bar tack. That's it. We call that a four step buttonhole. Last step is opening up the buttonhole. I love doing it with an exacto blade because it just makes a clean, simple cut. I like to start at the top and just pull down till we get to the other bar tack. And then we have a nice clean line for our button to come through. Let's test out our buttonhole. So you're gonna take the button and we're gonna push it through. Look at that, super easy, worked great. If you have any questions or comments on making a manual buttonhole, also known as a four step buttonhole, leave it down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause and leave a comment below. I would love to know what you thought. And don't forget to tag me in your project at Sew Anastasia or DM me photos so that way I can share them with everyone else. I love to keep everyone inspired. If you're not already following Sew Anastasia, make sure you hit the notification bell and follow so that way you can check out all my new videos. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and Pinterest and all those other social media sites, so make sure you follow me and stay inspired. And if you want to help support Sew Anastasia, hop on over to Patreon. Even just a dollar a month helps. It keeps us sewing, growing, and going. And we appreciate it so much because we love creating this content for you and we want to keep doing it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!